Hey, welcome everybody. It's another episode of the Thrift Store Prepper for you, and it is another almost out of date MRE review. Um, whether you like them or not, they're cool still coming. Or well, certainly for one more video after this, because it's after this one, we only have one more to review. Um, that's before they become out of date, and we will do another review possibly in the possibly distant future but for today we are going to be reviewing this one which is spaghetti with beef and sauce so um again kind of guessing this is going to be something pretty similar to a chef boyardee type meal so let's no further ado get our scissors And open up our MRE. Um, I know you will actually kind of miss doing this, but I have been told from some viewers they are sending me some MRE routes to review of their own. So rest assured, Thrift Fam, although there is only one more out of date MRE to review, hopefully in the not too distant future we'll be seeing some viewer sent MRE reviews and possibly some eBay finds that I come across do actually have a couple of my eye on a couple of um items at the moment so um with no further ado we have some al gratin potatoes in this one as well so that's kind of spoiled one of the entrees for us but straight off the bat we do get our crackers as always good old mre crackers the flameless Russian heater, the FRH, or the heatless heater, as we have called them, as we know by now they don't work. Another grape electrolyte beverage to sample. An accessory kit, we know what comes in there, so we put that at the side. Um, oh my goodness, we do have something new and exciting to try, Thrift Fam. Wow, 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 look at this. This is something we're going to enjoy greatly. Strawberry banana dairy shake powder. Awesome. Let's have a look what we've got going on here. So this serving gives you 300 calories. Wow, would you? Look at that. 12 grams of protein, 20 grams of sugar. Actually, why can't I put that there i don't know if you can see that clearly but that's everything that's in that so that's going to be fun we haven't seen one of those yet so wow always do get a little surprise along with some of the more familiar items what do we get this time and we've got some cheese and crackers the good old mre cheese give that i'm doing this for the mri asmr effect put your headphones on now Okay, so that's the ASMR effect over and done with. I should have shouted if you did put the headphones on. So we are giving them a little bit of a soften up as we speak. So we already know that we've got, um, this is one of the entrees, the Al Gratin potatoes. And the other one, that's kind of very heavy. We have the spaghetti and meat sauce. So um, we have seen these before, and they're actually pretty good if I remember. We have seen pretty much all of these items as it happens before, with the exception of the strawberry banana shake powder, which will act as kind of our dessert. Um, so the only thing left to do now is to get our entrees out on the tray and heat it up and try it. So you'll see me when it's ready. Nice. So there we go. Our heated up spaghetti and meat and our potatoes agro. That's still very warm. Um, so let's no further ado get our placemat, which is the bag that it came in. And we've also got some hot sauce. So let's just throw this straight on because we know we're going to put it on eventually anyway. There we go and get the hot sauce in there. Um, it does look as though there's like some meat in there, unlike the boyardies that you will get out of the can and like I have in my pantry. We know we've had those before. Very much like the cheese whiz. So I've got two cups here. And I did forget my bottle of water. Um, so let's get our... And again, such a waste. All that packaging, just that little bit of powder in the bottom. Um, 
get some scissors. Cut the lid off. Oh my god, that is so grapey. I don't know if you can see it in there. Some more ASMR for you. Did you get the little puff of granules? That's pretty cool, wasn't it? Still a few left in there. Um, discard of that. Let's put some water in. And we're kind of going to be doing this. So I'm going to get some more water. So this should be exciting. Let's get this right out into the open. And we didn't get, um, this was one of the only ones I don't think we got a cocoa beverage with. Um, I don't know if you can see in there. It doesn't really smell of anything. You can just about get a glimpse of the powder on the bottom. There's a faint it's kind of banana-y smell. Um, so we have to fill it to the level, the fill level. Oh, it's gone very pink. Okay, I don't know if you can see in there. No, not so well, but there is some pink. It looks like Pepto-Bismol. So we're going to... And get that water in there the best we can. Mix that up. And that feels like everything is dissolved. So, um, Let's see what this is like. Oh, there was a lump. It wouldn't be an MRE without a lump. Um, as you can see, that does look a little bit peptoy. That's a really cool packaging. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to clean that one out and save it or not, but I'll decide afterwards. So um, let's give our grape drink a stir, get all those crystals nice and dissolved. I think we spilt a little bit of grape into the meat sauce and spaghetti. So um, we got our beverage. That's what the milkshake looks like. And yeah, there are a few lumps, but we're not going to grumble. So all that remains now is to uh, taste our dish. So um, we've already tried that before. So we we'll dive straight into the spaghetti and the meat sauce. And you can kind of see there. That's what it looks like. Very much like something you get out of a can of Boyardee. And tastes just like something you'd get out of a can of Chef Boyardee. But, um, not unpleasant. Not unpleasant at all. The hot sauce does add it a little bit of a kick. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm, yeah, I am enjoying that. Actually, it wasn't the spaghetti, it was the crackers that took the brunt of the grape beverage. Beverage. Um, let's get a bit of our potato agratam. As you can see, it's little potato slices, and you could probably replicate this with um, canned potato and nacho cheese. Or um, cheese Whiz. Oh, I actually wish that was a big... That was that big portion and that was smaller because that is divine um, in the most processed kind of possible way. Um, but yeah, that is certainly some comfort food right there. So we're going to save that for last and eat our spaghetti right up. And lo and behold, I've got spaghetti in my lap and it isn't, well, we don't always get a lap spillage MRE, but... It does provide a little bit of titillation amongst some of the female viewers. And um, unlike other videos, I've um, actually kept filming while I eat all of this. Um, 
yeah it's uh obviously it's not something you'd uh it's not exactly olive garden even though olive garden isn't the high standard of uh italian cuisine but it ain't up there yet and um slightly better than a boyardi maybe if you get fancy boyardi but you can see there is some some actual ground beef in there uh which are pretty good to chew on and uh, the noodles were all little and small so you didn't really have to worry too much about twirling them on your spoon which is also handy so there is another one and that's pretty good now probably what i would have done if i wasn't doing these week by week i would have mixed the meatballs and the marinara in with this spaghetti and made like a double huge um double whammy mre review maybe we can do that for the out of date version of this because i do have two identical boxes of these um mres in my pantry so maybe we will do some combining and customing up with the out of date versions so the spaghetti is really good really good tort and tangy sauce all the kind of italian flavors that you would expect let's get the crackers out i'm wiping that on my shirt see if we get the hiss why do i struggle oh that was a good one a really good one let's put that in there throw some of the crumbs in i love these packages beautiful things oh let's put that in there as well baby p guess what's coming an mre burp oh excuse me but um yeah we do burp let's just try and wash that down with a little bit of grape beverage and yeah that kind of tastes is grapey and unpleasant is the last time i tasted it but you know it does have the electrolytes and the added carbs to it so we do have our little cheese spread let's give it another little squeeze and what we are going to do is put the unused accessory pack in the background <coughs> excuse me actually need a bigger hole than that so let's get a little bit out on the cracker add a little bit to the potato agratan and what else we're going to do with the potato agratan is break one cracker into there just to try it because we've already tried it and we'll see what it does with the added cheese let's put a little bit more cheese in there because like adding more cheese isn't going to hurt is it unless you're lactose intolerant so that's going to kind of give it a little bit of crunch and extra cheesiness make it a little bit different from the last time we tried it mm. you know what let's have more cracker that's pretty good with the added cracker you know just little ways and tips to make the same thing kind of a little bit different um also make it a little bit more filling and then one serving maybe you know you haven't got time to sit down and uh, enjoy it all together you could just crush it all up and eat it in one straight out of the bag and um that's really cheesy now that's like double cheese potato gratin with a crunchy t um crust really really good actually and i'm going to combine it I don't know why this is the favourite part of my MRE review, the cookie, not the cookie, the cracker. And um, I think I like it with the cheese best of all. Um, and then the peanut butter. And lastly, the jelly. But the potato gratin actually is one of my favourite uh, entrees out of all of the uh, all of the MRE reviews up to date. And this would go really, really well with a maple meat stick. 
although you do get the hash browns and the bacon with that um, particular MRE. But these potatoes are possibly one of the best things that I've tried in these almost outdated MRE reviews. The vegetable lasagna one was also um, pretty decent, probably surprisingly one of my uh, favourite ones, as it was the vegetarian option, but pretty damn good. I'd pick the vegetarian lasagna over this if I had a choice of just the one of the two. But these potato gratin, oh my god, I just don't know why they're so good. And I'm, I'm actually going to try and come up with a little recipe where we can make these out of um, pantry items in the future. Maybe step it up from the ramen recipes and bring you pantry item recipes. And show you how you can use canned items to maybe um, replicate this with canned potatoes and um, cheese Whiz. So that would be something that will be coming soon, all being well. Um, now if we are sticking to the end of this, while I eat every last bite. Hold on, I might pause while I eat the cracker. So it's just going to be noisy and maybe messy. Um, and I'm already feeling quite full up. And don't forget, this is kind of a, a balanced meal. They really. try to get as much calories and goodness into these meals as possible for you if you are in a survival situation. I guess this is where quite a lot of your goodness is going to come in the powder form of this shake. But, oh my god, how I wish that was more. I could eat two of those, maybe fucking three or four. If anyone has just the, the gratin potatoes on um, eBay or something, or knows somebody that has an excessive amount of them that they don't want, I'll take them. I could live off of that. Potatoes, a superfood. Some. What the hell? I'm not going to pause it. Let's just eat the cracker. Let's do a full... MRE review. Mouth for mouth, bite for bite. Let's not skip. No editing, no filtering at the Thrift Store Prepper channel. Oh my god, we are going to have to... I've got another one underneath. I forgot all about that. So, um... Yeah, scrap that shit. You're not going to be able to sit through me in two crackers and cheese. So... At this juncture... Right, so I'm just finishing the last remnants of the um, the crackers and cheese spread very very delicious way a nice way to move into dessert so i'm gonna cleanse the palate with some of this kind of looks like kind of um antifreeze color ah that was pretty good so now this pink frothy dairy shake Oh my god, there's so many lumps. We might need to eat this with a spoon. Let me go clean it. And that is sparkling clean, so uh, let's try and get some more of this to dissolve, because there are lumps. But we just pretend they're little marshmallows. So very, very pink, and as you can see, it does look very much like Pepto-Bismol. So the only thing to remain is to taste it. Oh... That tastes very artificially banana-y and very artificially strawberry, but it's not exactly unpleasant. Goes down very nicely. It's actually quite refreshing after all of this. Actually, that was really damn good. And it's a shame there's none left. Um, I am desperately trying to... Good God, that was really good. Mm, well, that was fantastic. That was uh, the highlight of this emery. I'm sorry I didn't take as long to eat that as I did with the um, potatoes and pasta. A lot of carbs there. But it certainly filled me up. And that was a very, very... Mm, I mean, very, very processed flavours, don't get me wrong, but, um, yeah, that was really, really good. Um, very artificial, but 
as I said, kind of nice. Nice at all. So this was another out of date, another almost out of date MRE um, review, I should say. Brought to you by Shit Video Productions for the thrift store prepper. So be sure we will catch you at a future video and another MRE review sometime in the not too far away future. Keep watching. Up to you if you want to subscribe, hit the bell, icons and all that kind of shit other people kind of tell you. May or may not realise that I am trying to round this up to maybe a round number of 21 minutes. By talking in, um, uh, there's a, uh, another baby pee burp for you. I don't know how many this was. I did do a couple of off air while I was eating the um, crackers. But there you go fam. This video is done and dusted. Thanks for watching. Share it if you want to. Shit video production, thrift store prepper. See you next time. Keep it thrifty. Bye bye.